All right, everybody, welcome back to the Horseman Football Talk Podcast. This is Brad. I'm Hefe. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Saints at the Panthers. You know, this is a pretty good for television hype. This is a pretty good quarterback matchup, but I think Matt Rule's days are numbered, and I think that's too much of a hurdle for uh, anybody to get over. And But on the flip side, you know, Winston doing what Winston does, what we saw him do in Tampa Bay, he did yesterday, just throwing at the, he'll throw at the people in the stands occasionally. And uh, he, what, he had four interceptions yesterday? Three or four, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, you know, I, I, I definitely want to hear your opinion, but I don't know it. I mean, is it going to be the, the good quarterback matchup or is it going to be a bad quarterback matchup? You know what I mean? I mean, is it going to be who can throw more interceptions or make more mistakes or is it going to be who can like the place up? What do you think? It's a, a great question. This is like the ultimate toss up game because both these quarterbacks could go either way. Um, and I, you know, I like both of these defenses looked a lot better in week two than they did in week one. Both of the offenses have been up and down the first two weeks. It's, it's tough to go one way or the other, but I think over the first two weeks of the season, if you look at each matchup individual, I've really paid attention to the, the coaching matchups this season. And the better coaches, the better coaches are winning these games. I just watched Doug Peterson annihilate Frank Reich in the coaching department. And for this one, I think Matt Rule stands absolutely zero chance against Dennis Allen. Um, I think the Saints are going to be able to smother on the defensive side. I think that they're going to be able to bother uh, Baker Mayfield, run him off his spots all day. And Baker Mayfield's going to throw, you know, two, three interceptions in this game. And that's really going to be the difference maker. Because I, you saw Chris Olave start to get a little more involved in the offense. I think as these new pieces get involved uh, in the offense, hopefully Alvin Kamara's back for him. He was a, a, a late time scratch for them. I, I would assume he's going to be back in the, in this matchup here against the Panthers. So having a, having everybody there and everybody getting acclimated to the offense, I think we see a better Jameis here in week three, and the Saints will pull this one out. I hope so. I, you know, Jay, Winston is incredibly talented, and you know, I, I'm, I'm I'm I think I've said this before. I'm I I loved making fun of of this kid, but I'm really rooting for him to pull it out and and have a good career because he certainly is incredibly talented. Yeah, ever since we went to that Bucks game when they played the Colts and I watched him light us up for like 450 and five touchdowns or whatever it was, I was yeah. like, all right, this guy can do it. Now let's yeah. see if he can do it every game. Yeah, 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 for sure. 